corrosion. A thin layer of metal oxides or other salts is slowly formed on the surface of the metals when they are exposed to open air. This process is called corrosion. The compounds present in the thin layer are same as the ones present in the compounds of their minerals. Example, rusting of iron due to iron oxide, tarnishing of silver due to silver sulphide, green coating on copper due to copper carbonate. Let us do an activity to know the conditions for rusting of iron. Click each tab to learn more. Place a set of three clean iron nails in three test tubes, labeled as A, B and C respectively. Pour water in test tube A and cork it. Pour boiled water in test tube B along with 1 ml of oil and cork it. The oil floats on the water and does not allow air in the test tube to mix in the water. Pour anhydrous calcium chloride in test tube C and cork it. The added compound soaks all the moisture from the air present in the test tube. Leave the test tubes A, B and C for a few days. The nails in test tube A are exposed to both air and water and develop rust. The nails in test tube B are exposed to water alone and do not develop rust. The nails in test tube C are exposed to dry air alone and do not develop rust. Corrosion in metals take place when they lose electrons to oxygens and form oxides. Example, rusting of iron formed in the presence of water and air. At a particular site in the metal, oxidation takes place. This site is the anode. The electrons released during oxidation move through the metal and reach another spot where they meet with oxygen and hydrogen ions from the atmosphere. This spot is a cathode. The overall reaction is as shown on the screen. The ferrous ions undergo further oxidation using the oxygen present in the atmosphere and convert to ferric ions. These ions form the rust in the form of hydrated ferric oxide. 